Carmen and Angelo certainly definitely a little chilly out there for us, but fall officially begins tomorrow. We do have an elevated fire risk on Tuesday. We just have had a prolonged period of dry weather that has just increased our drought and we're not really seeing any rain in the foreseeable future, maybe Sunday and Monday. We are expecting a midweek warm up though, so if you're kind of sick of these 30s to start your morning will likely start off in the 50s by the middle of the week. We do have a frost advisory though in place till tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for most of the state, excluding the immediate shoreline. So I do think some locations tonight will fall back into the middle to lower. 30s. Definitely going to be a chilly night ahead. Right now we're having a mix of 40s out there. 41 in Danbury, 49 in New Haven, Waterbury at 44, 49 in Hartford, and 47 in Groton. So we are going to be mainly clear tonight. A north wind anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperature wise will fall back into the 30s, middle 30s uh, for some of our inland locations along the shoreline, staying a little bit more mild in the 40s. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. We do start to see our warming trend be Begin tomorrow. So high temperature thinking around 72 degrees and we will have breezy conditions, a north wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. And that's really associated with Hurricane Teddy that will be passing to our east tomorrow afternoon into the evening and it'll likely pull away by about Wednesday. So we're really not feeling much of the effects of Hurricane Teddy. We're kind of making out pretty good at this point, but winds will definitely be something that we'll have to monitor with gusts anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour at times on Wednesday more sunshine on the way another breezy day for us thinking northwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour but noticing the high temperature in the upper 70s now let's focus on what's going on in the tropics hurricane season Atlantic we'll talk about Hurricane Teddy with winds at about 90 miles per hour you can see right down on your screen that black uh, dot right there that is Bermuda so this particular system continuing to track east, it's likely going to make a landfall uh, east, north, uh, and likely make a uh, landfall in Nova Scotia. Now notice that this is really to our east, and so we could see some pretty high wave lengths uh, or wave heights associated with this particular system, especially for areas that are closer to the Massachusetts coastline, Cape Cod, Nantucket, those areas. For us, we really are going to see those breezy conditions likely kind of ramp up in the afternoon into the evening, noticing this is our our wind gust tracker, a northwest wind with gusts anywhere from 25 to even 30 miles per hour. That'll likely stay with us in the overnight hours. And then by Wednesday, kind of seeing those winds diminish by the afternoon. As I mentioned, we are experiencing some pretty high wave heights. We'll have to continue to watch that. But by tomorrow afternoon and evening, we could see heights off of the Boston and in, off of Cape Cod and in, into Nantucket uh, with, with wave heights at around 10 feet to even 15 to 18 fit, feet. So pretty high swells there. Just really uh, Really quickly, Tropical Storm Beta winds at 45 miles per hour, likely making landfall kind of within, I would say, the hour or two just off the coast of Texas. And with that, going to bring some winds, but really going to be the torrential rainfall that they're going to get that will pose some flooding problems. Now, looking ahead to the seven day forecast, we do have temperatures that will rise moderately into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. By the time we get to Thursday and Friday, a couple of chances for some showers. Sunday and Monday, we'll be watching that time frame very closely. Now,